Hi, this is Vic, and today I'm going to talk about the main thing that I'm going to discuss is the freedom that my Cadillac ELR has given me from the gas pump. And mainly I'm going to talk about my miles per gallon and uh, the energy efficiency that I enjoy with the, with the extended range electric vehicle made by General Motors. Um, and with that, I'll move on to the next slide. What you're looking at now is the most recent shot of my lifetime miles per gallon in my ELR since I've owned it in, in uh, two, 2014. Uh, my lifetime, as you see, is 96.7 MPG. I believe that is the highest I've ever been. And you also, right above that, you will see 250 plus MPG. That is my average for this last driving session of 16.2 total miles. I used zero gasoline. I drove those 16 miles on electricity. Most of my driving around my city where I live is done, only, is done on only electricity the vast majority of the time. Now for quite a while I was looking at getting very excited about getting a Tesla. But I think that's probably going to not, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, because the ELR and the extended range electric vehicles made by General Motors does such an outstanding job of freeing one from the gas from the gas pump. Additionally, something else that I found out in the past week is that I believe I was told that um, with the new Chevrolet Volts, you get a, uh, a uh, charge point card. Charge point is a network that's all around the country, and there's charge point charge stations in various various cities uh, throughout the country. There's plenty of charge point stations uh, here in Charlotte, North Carolina area. Uh, um, I believe that I was told that you get a charge point card now when you buy a, um, a Chevrolet Volt or an extended range electric vehicle from GM. And if, that's, if that is true, that's I think that's absolutely great. That's wonderful. Now, the question may come to someone's mind, well, where the hell is the charge point? I don't know where to charge a car at. That's because, well, if you don't know where the charge points are, you don't know where to go to charge a car, then uh, to recharge a car, then it's probably, be, possibly, you don't have a charge point card. If you had a charge point card, you would know where they were. I didn't, I was unaware of their locations until I got my card. After I received my charge point card, I, uh, I made myself aware, I researched where they were located, and uh, I got a card. And most of the charge points that I go to here in my local city are free of charge. Every once in a while I'll run into one where I have to pay. So effectively, that's, that's more savings. That's more money that, that we're, electric drivers are saving. Because a lot of the charging is done for free. Now, the vast majority, obviously, the vast majority of my charging is done at my house. So it still costs me. It still costs me about, uh, I think it's about $25 per month. But it's much cheaper, much cheaper than paying gasoline at the pump. Now, the price of electricity is much more stable and not as fickle as gasoline. And electricity is generated here, here domestically. And I, I think that's a good thing. But anyway, back to my lifetime mileage. I believe that this 96.7 is in fact the highest I've ever been. And I'm about to, once again, get close to 100. And it's coming up on that time frame where I'm going to drive out of, I'm going to drive long distance that, that is out of state. And uh, it's probably going to drop down a little bit. But again, that's just the average, average of 96.7. The vast majority of the time, I see what you're seeing right now. I see 250 plus. I use no gasoline to drive around the city. So it's absolutely great. The, the fact that, that I have gasoline available is very, very convenient. Uh, while I may not like using gasoline or using, using the gas engine or generator, uh, it's still, it's 
it's still a very convenient thing to have when driving long distance or for several hundred miles. It's very, very convenient. Now, people who don't own an extended range electric vehicle or a plug-in hybrid, as it's referred to, uh, may very well doubt this lifetime average MPG that I'm showing. Uh, they will think, how can a car, how can a car accelerate sipping gasoline at the rate of 96.7 miles per gallon? Well, the car doesn't sip gasoline at the rate of 96.7 miles per gallon. Not at all. Uh, each and every day when I get in the car, my first approximately 38 miles, 38 to 40 miles, are gas-free. I drive my first approximately 40 miles totally gas-free, and as a result of that type of thing, you see this 250-plus MPG for, the, for a given driving session. I can drive approximately, like I said, about 40 miles totally gas-free. And that is going to add to the, the MPG average of the vehicle. Now, where you see this 250-plus right now, if I were to drive a longer distance and I needed to turn on the generator or the engine, then this 250-plus would eventually drop down. It would go down from 250 down to 249, 248, and it will inc steadily, and, but very slowly, decrement uh, down a couple, t couple of numbers. And uh, for any driving session, I can, see, I can see what my average is for that particular session. Because I have about 49,000 miles on my car, it's more, it's more difficult for me to affect my lifetime average now either negative or positive.